We do shop. Uh -huh. We do shop. We do shop. We do things here at Home Depot. For those of you wondering why we don't show behind the scenes stuff like trips like that little fiasco to Home Depot and what we're going to do now which is head to Aldi's because we need some pico de gallo for dinner. Um, not dinner but not tonight's dinner that's the key point so a couple of things someone had actually mentioned in one of our videos and commented that they'd like to love the channel and it thinks that it would help if we showed these trivial little things like Home Depot and stuff like that and we're not a big fan of filming inside stores because one, um, it's a pain, two, there's people, and three, we're not really big shoppers. So we try to avoid stores whenever possible. Something like this, which we'll show you the wood for and why we have it, um, kind of changes that. Plus, it's incredibly difficult for me to hold the phone and film because I'm used to the GoPro and I'm used to the Sony ZV-1 where I can shoot a lot better that's why you get the shaky camera effect and sometimes the stabilization just isn't there. So that's why we typically don't film that. Plus, you know, sometimes life is boring. And uh, as, as much as we like to uh, just share what we call real RV life, some of it just isn't film worthy. Like, you know, I don't want to share my chews and I don't some think you guys want to watch us chew food yeah, no. but at the same time i do understand the appeal of knowing what we eat how we do things and and stuff like that so as you can see here this is all these this is where we do a good majority of our grocery shopping whenever there's one in the area that we have to land in uh, between there and costco is pretty much where we buy everything but here we're going to go in we're just going to grab some people to gallo and we're going to get the hell out because our freeze Make some cheese now. See what happens. This is why we don't share things like that. See, in here we can see Carrie digging through the Pico de Gallo to find the freshest date and yeah. to see if there's one that's tomato. But if you guys Six don't buy this, this is actually some really good stuff. We should be able to use that before we leave. That and they have quite a selection of pickles, cheeses. And I'm trying to find this year, this is the stuff if you are a cheese kind of sort, any of these, the mild, the mature, and if you dig way in the back, there's this vintage cheese, which hands down for $3.79 in its grass bed. Amazing stuff. You okay. got the Pico de Gallo? Got it. All right, we're off. Some of the other stuff that we do pick up here because it's quality is amazing is ground beef grass fed said amazing stuff as well as ribeye steaks from here anything that's grass fed for our diet is perfect and all these believe it or not has a better selection than you would realize uh, and that's one of the things we like about it now we don't pretty much we don't shop the middle of the store but all this stuff on the outer perimeter is pretty good this here if you're interested in keto or you just are keto is a godsend for travel news. This is the pork carnitas. This here has three net carbs per serving, but this powered with or paired with a zero carb taco shell thing is absolutely incredible. That's what the Pico de Gallo is for. Travel days is a game changer because you just zap that in the microwave and boom, six minutes later, six minutes later. we've got good eats. Really important app. And again, I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys. If you find it interesting, let us know in the comments below because we'd be more than happy to share. But uh, yeah, you ch check that out. They also have some really good salmon if you're into that. The pork here is actually really good. And, and Aldi's for their meat program for being in the business is actually known for having a very high quality cuts of meat, um, at least on the upper levels. So there, there you go, there's your tip for the day. And another thing here, we don't need it today, but this is something that's actually really good. They have organic cake cups. This is a Guatemalan coffee. They also have an extra bold coffee. This is non-GMO. Absolutely really good quality coffee. 
and it's quick and convenient. A lot of their stuff here like that, stuff to be on the lookout for. Now we're going to check out, but we're not going to film because people are getting really uncomfortable with us filming in here. But we'll catch you back in a couple minutes. All right, now, thankfully, we are fortunate enough to be in small town Tennessee. And uh, I don't know what the name of the town is, can you tell? But uh, one of the things that we actually do shop at is Dollar Tree because we find that they actually have spring water. Was it Geyser Bay or something? Geyser Glacier Bay, Glacier, Glacier Bay whatever it is. Or no, I think that's the Glacier Bay. Faucets from Home Depot. Anyway. Anyhow, they have spring oh, water shit, here. that's right. And that's about <laughs> the only place we can seem to get it consistently is from here. As we've mentioned before, we don't necessarily oh. agree with drinking water out of the RV system. So we're gonna go in here and grab some water, as you can see. Yeah. Dollar Tree. Yeah, you guys asked for this, you're getting it. So apparently here at Life Redesigned, we can't think of names at all. <laughs> it's Crystal Geyser is the water. It's kind of what we're familiar with and what we're used to. So that's the water we get, but we're not getting it today. But it's only a buck 25 for a gallon. It's pretty darn good. And more importantly, they consistently have it in stock. Uh -huh. And one thing that we do is with our diet is consistency is a big key to everything. We try to make sure that we're drinking the same thing, eating the same thing, so it's easy to, you know, you get in routines. It's good. Anything that throws off that routine throws off our whole diet and our whole weight loss. Thing. Now we're trying to find ice cube trays. Aren't you glad you're alone? So the lesson here is when you go to film, they don't have what you're looking for. What we're looking for is a very elusive set of ice cube trays to have covers. Only we have these without the covers. So yeah, there's that. But the bigger point here is, and the bigger takeaway is, don't overlook the dollar store. You can find some pretty good stuff, especially when you're looking for stuff here, except for the stuff you want. Other than that, all right, we'll check back with you because we gotta go finish our project. Now what are you doing? I thought all we had to do was put the wood in. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah. surprise. All right, so now what we're doing, <laughs> if in case you haven't noticed, there's been some changes here. Not only have I gotten shorter, um, but we ripped out completely the dinette that was here. The one that came from Grand Design Mall is quite frankly is junk, just like most traditional dinettes are. Now, our friends over at RecPro is where we bought this one. Uh, and I'll have Carrie show this side because that actually is all assembled and complete. So these were roughly about $549 per side. So we're looking at about $1,100 here, but the difference is night and day. Now, before you go, hey, can't be that great if you're modifying it. Well, there's a couple of things. This here, as a dinette, is fantastic. But what I wanted to do was take away the office chair that was here. If you've caught any of our videos about our, the, the ultimate RV office, right? The chair was great, but it started to get in the way, especially with Carrie and I having a few more projects that we're working on. So I wanted to work at this all day. And now it's comfortable, plenty comfortable. A hey, night and day improvement over the stock unit. I wanted to add some wood underneath the springs. It's a matter of my personal preference. It gave me some, a little more support because I'm a bigger guy and I didn't want to fall through. And like I said, I worked on it for today and it was fine, but just long term, I like I, just that feeling of having the wood there. So basically all I did was, go, as you saw in the opening of the video, was cut some one by sixes down into three, we jam these in here, they're in there pretty tight, and I'm just putting in these mending plates just to tie them together, just so they don't shift. And again, it's probably overkill, but and not needed, but I'll end up putting a series of these that connect these boards together, just so they kind of all stay in place. And especially the open and close to get in and out, uh, I wanna make sure they don't shift around. Just one of those things, you know? But the bigger thing is here, is that, bring this, I'm gonna steal this from Kerry, as you'll notice here, for those of you with keen eyes and you know the Grand Design setups, this is not the cheap little TCL TV anymore. In fact, Carrie and I picked up a OLED TV from Samsung. It's a 4K Ultra TV. It is amazing. And if you're a movie person like Carrie and I are, we're movie people, um, this made a night and day difference. I, I think Carrie will agree with that, yes. that uh, it's just been fantastic. So we've been streaming a lot of stuff. Avatar on Disney Plus is amazing in Ultra 4K. It's just great. 
The other thing is, look what Carrie's done. These here are all curtains that Carrie has picked up from Amazon and put these all in as Carrie again, along with some coordinating pillows from a store called Kirkland, which was absolutely incredible. And Carrie did more work over here with our kitchen. And these are slightly different. And all these are, are curtains, uh, valances, uh, stuff like that, tiers, I think, are the bigger ones. Yeah. Uh, so 24 inch tiers. And they're held in place with tension rods. And before you go, well, those tension rods going down I 65 aren't going to last, Gary. Uh -huh. As Carrie had said, because we've had that problem with the Winnebago, I went one step further and they sell these clear little caps that you put at the end of like chairs so they don't scratch up wood floors. And I put them on either side so the tension rods slip inside the caps and uh, I don't have to worry about it. This held up great all through Alabama. And, and now, as we haven't uh, mentioned, we're in Tennessee. So we're gonna sit down with you kids and explain to you why we're in Tennessee. As you can uh, see, I gotta put the back on the uh, dinette there and the other one. Perfect view up here. Why are we in Tennessee, Care Bear? Why are we in Tennessee? We're in Tennessee because we were in, the, I believe the last we left you guys, we were in Thousand Trails in um, Arley, Alabama. Yeah. Hidden Cove. And Hidden Cove is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch this out because my arm's killing me. Why, after cutting all that with a butter knife? Oh, jeez. So, where we found out in Arley is that the our T-Mobile home internet router that we use for a good portion of our internet decided it wasn't going to work. And while we th originally mm -hmm. thought, oh wow, all the reviews here are right, and getting internet in early is, is not that great. Starlink was doing decent, but I was a little worried only having one outlet for work. So we were able to get this place here in Hikeskill. Hike Skill. yeah. I'm terrible with days. We're in Tennessee. <laughs> we're about an hour outside of Gatlinburg, and we're only paying 25 bucks a night. Yeah. And uh, we decided to cut our trip in Alabama short mm -hmm. and come here so I could do my job. And then we're heading to Kentucky. Adorable. Really nice little place. And it's been perfect for working and getting projects like this dinette in has been, you know, just amazing. And the people here are so friendly. And just do whatever you need to do. And as long as you don't uh, disrupt others, they're okay with it. Mm -hmm. And so we are now proud Escapees members. Yep. With that discount, it was, yeah, I think 23 or $25 a night. You can't beat it. So at any rate, that's where we're at here. Awesome set. If you're interested in this Rec Pro Dinette set, I'll leave a link below. We still are affiliates with Rec Pro. Uh, you can save 5%. By using our code, I'll put that in the uh, description as well. This here we paid for ourselves because, well, frankly, they didn't answer my email to see if, hey, they wanted a video review. So since they didn't answer the uh, video review email, you're not getting a video review. So, yeah, <laughs> all I'll say is this, is that I paid for them, or we paid for them, rather, and we love them, and they're fantastic. And that's that. That's all you need to know. So we'll catch you in a little while with dinner. Uh, we'll probably cut back in tomorrow with dinner because tonight's getting a little bit crazy. But we'll catch back in tomorrow with those pork tacos because I kind of want to show off Thanks. what you're able to do. Is that what you chose for tomorrow already? That's what I chose okay. for dinner. All so right. tomorrow we're having pork tacos. <laughs> we'll catch you then. And this here is what we are working with. Look at those tacos. And yes, it is the next day. <laughs> well, we got the cheese over here. We got the taco sauce. We got that pico de gallo. We got the pork way over there. We've got everything pretty much set up here, and now it's time to go eat. But look at that. That's uh, what I call... Four tacos short. Hey, okay. Downtown Knoxville. You see way up there, the Tennessee Theater there. That sign being iconic. In fact, that sign is what's on the postcard that we're sending to our son. But uh, overall, very nice little area again. You can't really beat this, especially just wandering around. And it's kind of like it's going to rain type deal. Because I got to watch out for traffic as well. Oh, no, not too bad. Plenty of parking, which is unusual for a city. Uh, again, just you know, really good. Plus, if you happen to be in Knoxville, September 26th, you can see Tanya Tucker here on my birthday and uh, have all kinds of fun. So, yeah, there's that. Well, as Kate.
Gary and I noticed the wind picking up. We're going to cut this video here. It will catch you in the next one, as they say. We're coming to you from, well, this is a first for us. Since we started this journey back in November, being full time, we've pretty much been in states that we've already at one point or another been to. Yep. The next state that we're going to is a state that we've never been. So in a lot of ways for Carrie and I, this is just starting our journey uh, as we're starting to see new places. So with that, we'll leave you in suspense. We'll catch you next time. For Life Redesigned, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is the Knoxville, Tennessee, downtown. We'll catch you next time.